didn't give me a whole set of the bars. It's supposed to be five tiers and it's only four right now, <laughs> which is very upsetting. Like it came with the other ones. It's supposed to be like up to here, but alas, it is not right now. <laughs> so I guess we'll just use this for now and then maybe I'll email them. I should, shouldn't I? It's not like this was super cheap. I should email them and let them know that they didn't give me the bars. Maybe they'll send me them or send me a whole other one or something. We'll see, but we're gonna put this in the closet and see if it fits. It definitely fits. Welcome back to another organizing, unpacking, getting settled into my apartment video. <laughs> this one's gonna be kind of all over the place because it's just from like, just different clips of me putting things together and getting new furniture. Okay guys, sorry that I look like this, but I'm going on a date tonight and I don't have any hair tools still, like I said. So the hair has gotta be in the curlers for a couple of hours before I start getting ready. But I need to report a couple furniture updates Nothing is put together yet, but I got a delivery this morning for my open storage that I'm going to put in my kitchen. Probably not going to unpack that um, or like unbox that just because I'm not going to be able to do that on my own. Like I'm not going to be able to put it on the wall on my own. I might get a friend to help me or wait until my dad gets here. Um, and then I also got my desk. So we'll probably set that up tomorrow. I don't think I have enough time or energy to do that today, but I did go back to Ikea and I got a couple things from there. So I wanted to show you. It was quite the struggle fitting stuff into bags. Like, <laughs> just, it was just a moment. But I got a lamp, which I'm very excited about. And I also got two LED light bulbs that are dimmable with a remote and like you can change the color and stuff, which I'm super excited about. I think I'm gonna change one of the light bulbs it, to this like standing lamp that I have here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the lamp, but for now it'd be good because the light in that is like so bright white, it's offensive, honestly. So we need to change that so that I can actually use it. And then this is just that like Ikea, you know, the one that is just like a ball. <laughs> um, and I think that'll look so good on the open shelving in my kitchen. So I'm really excited about that. And then I got, some light bulbs, like I said. Um, and then well, I got this one with the remote and then an extra light bulb and some batteries, very exciting. These are rechargeable though, which is kind of exciting actually. And then got a couple boxes for my pantry organization. These ones were just really cheap and I thought for now, ew, some nasty hair attached to that. Um, for them to start organizing my pantry. Not that I have that much right now, but it's good, you know? And then, okay, we got the toolbox. I have probably purchased this. This has to be my fifth time. Like I've just moved so many times and it's just not one of those things that you bring with you. Like I'm sh I could have obviously, but the one in London is in London still, but I'm a sucker, but it's blue now. It used to be like bright orange and it's so cute. <laughs> So I love that, need that to start doing things. Okay, also, I got one of those um, things for your closet that like hangs up and becomes like, kind of like shelves, like this. You know, that thing. So we'll hang that up just for now, even if it's not permanent, it, it will just be helpful to like have some sweaters or my sweatpants or whatever hanging like that and just like accessible instead of on top where I can't really reach them. So thought that would be good for now. Okay, let's actually see if this fits. I didn't actually um, like measure this at all, so I'm not even sure if it fits, but it's gonna fit, woohoo! So we'll organize that later. Okay, my camera's about to die, so I need to show you real quick, but I got this utility cart that I'm gonna put in my bathroom. I roughly did measurements in there, so I hope it fits. Um, I can't obviously show you guys exactly what it looks like, but you can like, it's just a classic utility cart, but got it in white and then it comes with this thing you can use it in the kitchen or the bathroom they had it styled like both ways and i got this thing to put on top so it's like more another like counter space and it kind of protects your stuff from like toilet particles and stuff because that always grosses me out having like open makeup and stuff in a bathroom if you 
if it's like not too far away from the toilet. Anyway, yeah. So once it's set up, I'll obviously show you guys, but those are the things I got today. Very exciting. You guys saw me the other night putting this together and I'm so proud of myself because it's a standing desk and I did it all alone. But I did screw up one thing, the drawer. I don't know what I did wrong. I like still can't figure it out, but I think I need to unscrew it. I'm not gonna like obviously disassemble the entire desk, but I think I'm just gonna go underneath and take it off and see what I did wrong because it would be nice to have this little drawer. <laughs> so annoying. Um, but otherwise, I think I did everything right. Like, it goes up and down. It sounds like a dentist office for some reason. How high does it go? I don't know. Okay, that's too high. But I'm really excited to have this. I can't wait to organize it. The thing is, I can't have it an odd number. That's just gonna make me uncomfortable. Oh, okay, that's fine. Anyway, I'm going to, I'm just waiting for an email to finish something up. I'm waiting for someone to get back to me. So really quickly, I think I'm gonna try to unscrew this and fix the drawer because it's gonna piss me off if I don't. And otherwise, I'm so excited to like do some cable management and like <laughs> actually have it set up and nice but right now it's just nice to have another surface in my apartment because i really don't have a lot of those but i did clear off the coffee table because i could put stuff on here and then i did that little utility cart in my bathroom actually i don't know if i showed you guys that but there she is in all of her glory i'm not sure like it came with four wheels but i don't know if i want to put the wheels on it i don't know and right now it literally just has yeah like all of my shit in it in bags but i'm going to reorganize that and then i'll like put the bag somewhere else but it saves up some space and then now i'm still unsure do i want to keep this and just have like my daily things here i don't know what to do with like my makeup so that i not that i wear makeup every day but it's nice to have it somewhere like maybe i'll get like a makeup organizer and put it underneath that thing and then still maybe like a one floating shelf for a couple products and i want to get some like actually cute like soap dispenser toothbrush holder and maybe something for my moisturizer as well so it's like cohesive and kind of cute but that's the update so far i did kind of organize the pantry a little bit not really but you know it has some things on it <laughs> um and we're getting somewhere you know like i need i think maybe i'll get another one of these for next next to it in here i don't know i still just it's an everyday i find different things that i need but welcome to my pantry i don't have too much in here right now okay i used to be a an absolute hater i'm not anymore smart sweets came out with easter candy i haven't tried the bunnies yet but i had over the weekend i had the like um the other ones i think they only have two easter ones <laughs> They're like little orange eggs and they were really good. So I'm assuming these will be good as well. And also, I got these from Costco yesterday. I went to Costco. I had the best Sunday ever yesterday. I met up with a family friend. We went to Berries in the morning and then we got a smoothie and then we went to Costco and then we went to this place called Impact Kitchen and we bought some protein and we had some lunch together. It was so nice. And then I went over to my other friend's place, chilled at her place, had some serious decor inspo from hers and her boyfriend's place because it's so cute and nice and just like organized and decorated so cute um so anyway i just had a really good sunday but i went to costco which is very brave on a sunday but we did it and it wasn't that bad and i got these which i've never had before but i've seen them before and they're just these little chocolate coconut bars which i love and i feel like they're such a nice like afternoon treat with some tea because i love having something sweet after literally every single meal as you guys know um, and 
they're not bad. Like it's not like they're like insane with sugar. They don't have like two crazy ingredients or anything like that. They're just they're just good. And there's so many of them. It's great. I love Costco. And then at Impact Kitchen, so if anyone's in Toronto, I don't think they have Impact Kitchen anywhere else, but I got um, some vanilla protein. I haven't had vanilla in forever. I kept in London, I was always getting chocolate or this like chocolate cookie one or this like walnut coffee one. I just was never leaning toward vanilla because I think I had a bad experience with one vanilla one and it turned me off for a while, but I feel like sometimes you can do more with vanilla, like it's a bit more versatile. You can put it in more things. So anyway, I tried this one out and it's randomly just 757 grams of it. <laughs> But I had heard good things and that other one, this one that I have, the Vega Protein and Greens, I've had it before and I think maybe I was just spoiled in London because the protein powder there is so much better. But this shit, it is gross. It is not good. Like maybe I'll use it. It's not good for like my yogurt in the morning because that one, it's like you can taste the protein powder because you're just mixing it with the yogurt and some like milk and stuff so you need to have a good quality protein powder that tastes good for that for this i feel like if i was making a smoothie and putting a bunch of other stuff in it like if i was doing like a banana peanut butter smoothie and i had banana that's like really overpowering peanut butter and like chocolate this would be fine for that but this is like good quality when you're like gonna be tasting the protein powder so anyway tried it for the first time today and it was really good very happy with it um and it only has four ingredients in it which is crazy for a protein powder i feel like they always have like a bunch of random ingredients i'm still working on the organization and what i'm going to be doing in here but it's nice to have it out of the cupboard because i just don't have a lot of space in the cupboard as we know turn her on it's daylight so it's harder to tell but we got a little remote for it you can change the color okay it's definitely a lot harder to tell i'll show you guys at nighttime too but it's like purple red orange blue and then it's also dimmable oh so amazing and then you can make it really bright as well oh i'm so obsessed Okay, those are the few apartment updates for you for now. The couch gets delivered tomorrow, which I'm so, so excited about. Need to order a bed frame literally today. That's all my list of things to do. I've just been going so back and forth with what I want because I don't know where to start, but I'm just gonna get a simple one so that it doesn't like take over the whole room and then I can decorate how I want after that. But I do think I'll get white because all of my like other little pieces are white and then we can decorate from there because I want it to be colorful and fun in here, but not too crazy. Um, yeah. So it's coming together. We have more places to put things, more places to organize things. And once I have more of my stuff from Halifax and I have more organizational bits, we get a little bit more furniture. It's really gonna feel like home, but the couch, that's gonna make a big difference. And then we need to get this kitchen organized and set up. But my dad will help with that too, which it'll be nice to have him here because I'll get him to do some like drilling bits because I don't want to do that. <laughs> oh my God, I hope I can put stuff in that wall. I didn't even think about that. Oh my God. That will be a problem for another day. Oh God. Oh my gosh, I look like a sickly Victorian child right now for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's fitting, my name is Victoria. But my couch just got delivered. I'm so excited, I'm a bit nervous because it's like, you know, it's just me, myself and I here now. They just delivered it into my place, which was chaotic because there was also a guy like a huge guy not a huge guy a guy in a huge truck that was like picking up mattresses that people leave outside of the apartment and it was just like a whole mess but we got it in so that's the big thing it's behind me here <laughs> now i have a meeting in 30 minutes so i'm not gonna be able to assemble the whole thing i assume considering that desk took me like two hours and the utility cart in my bathroom took me like two hours <laughs> But I just want to like start. I want to open some boxes, see the instructions, kind of get it situated. And then after my meeting, we'll put the rest of it together. I also need to have some lunch, but we'll do that later. I'm so excited to have a couch, to have something to sit on. I officially put my outdoor furniture back outdoors because I knew the couch was coming today. So I don't need it anymore in here. I mean, it is nice to have that little like higher up surface, but we'll make do. It's all coming together, but we got the couch and I'm so excited. Ooh, I'm scared it's gonna be a little bit too big for the space, but I don't care anymore. Like, it doesn't matter. I wanted like a comfy, cozy couch, so hopefully it checks those boxes. What's left of me? Drowning in what feels just like an ocean. Negativity is getting closer. How to keep the heat when it gets colder, you know. Sometimes everything just gets hard. Sometimes everything just gets harder Feeling like I'm missing some parts Days just keep on getting much darker Even when I'm down in the low I remember what you were saying 
Oh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. We have the couch, which is a very exciting. It's put together. It was not hard at all. Structube is a lot easier than Ikea, I will say that. The couch is a bit harder than I remember it being when I sat on it at the store, which actually is probably a good thing, so maybe that means it will soften with time. But yeah, it's a bit hard, just like a bit crunchy. Um, so I need to soften it, but it's cute. And it's, it's like big, but I feel like it will fit the space once I have like the kitchen separated from the living room. We're not gonna keep this coffee table. It just doesn't make sense in the space. So I'll get my roommate, <laughs> my roommate, I don't have roommates, my landlord to either pick it up or I can like give it to someone if she wants me to do that. She just said it was left here from when it was furnished. So I don't know what she wants me to do with it, but I'll let her know and I'll use it for now until I get another one. But yeah, it's, it's feeling good. It feels good to have somewhere else to sit. I'm gonna chill there tonight. Guys, it's finally time to leave the house for the first time since 7 a.m. this morning when it went. It's always such an oxymoron when I say a.m. in this morning. Anyway, since 7 this morning when I went for my run. Um, it's time. I need to leave the apartment for a second. I have been working non-stop all day except for when my couch delivery got in. It's just been a really busy day, so I just need like a little bit of fresh air, a little bit of off-screen time and um, like a nice little walk will do me some good. It's almost 5 p.m. now. I'm done my work day because I started early and pretty much got everything today done that I need to do and that I have the brain capacity for unless anything urgent comes up. And I'm just gonna go out so that I can like kind of break up my day and my evening, run some errands because I'm like one more use away from being done with my deodorant and we, we don't wanna have no deodorant. So I need more of that, I need some stain remover. And this is kind of niche, but I really wanna get like a little bucket or like bin with a cover um, so I can like put my ice cubes in there and have like little scoopers. I'm gonna check winners, maybe Canadian Tire, maybe Shoppers. Shoppers definitely won't have it, but we'll check because I have to go there anyway. Um, because the trays that I got, like they make good ice cubes, but it's so annoying to get the ice cubes out of that tray every time. So I feel like if I just fill them up, freeze them, dump them into the bin every time they're done and then like scoop from there, it'll just be way easier and a much better user experience to get ice every day. And I use a lot of ice. So we're gonna do that instead of getting like an ice maker because we're not up to that. I don't have the space, the counter space to be doing anything, anything like that. So those are the things. And then we're gonna come back and I have to do a little bit of editing, gotta do a little bit more like organizing personal work and then we'll make some dinner. But let's get out while there's still some daylight. It's about to rain. So I left it until a horrible time, but it's the only time I had today to go is right now. So I'll bring an umbrella with me. You know, I lived in England, I can handle the rain. I'm not gonna, what my mom always said, what are you made of sugar? You're not gonna melt in the rain. <laughs> so that's the energy we're taking into today. It's still like warm out. I'm pretty sure I checked the weather. I should actually crack open a window because it's not that it's warm in here, but it would just be nice to get some fresh air. Anyway, those are thoughts for later. <laughs> Let's go out on the town for an hour. Sorry, I've looked like offensive this entire video. <laughs> I just can't be asked right now. I've been working from home, I've been busy. I just, you know, I'm getting my hair done when I go home. I feel like I'm gonna feel more like me once I do that. I just, and like I have my hair tools there I can bring back. I just feel like it's been, you know, a couple of weeks of moving. I just haven't been putting a lot of effort into me visually, but that's okay. You have your weeks. Anyway, thought I'd give you a quick shoppers and Canadian tire haul that I'm sure you're all very excited about. I know I am. I got Resolve because I got some stains on everything, <laughs> always. But I got sta a stain on my jeans yesterday and I washed them like immediately and it didn't quite fully come out. So need to use the Resolve. It always works for me. Um, and then I got, these were on sale. You cannot get Secret in the UK. And this deodorant, I know it's bad for you. I can't help it. Um, it just works a lot better than most of the deodorants I was using there and the natural deodorant. I'm trying guys, this is aluminum free. I know this is counterproductive because this one isn't and this one is, but we'll see, we'll see how she goes. I thought the, they were both on sale by the way, is what I think I already said, but anyway, that's why I got two. So I got nurturing coconut for the like rolly one and then for the spray one, which like sometimes I like and sometimes I don't. This is aluminum free, weightless dry spray, I think. Maybe it's not. Oh my God, they definitely had ones that were aluminum free and I thought I picked that one up. 
It doesn't say it anywhere and I feel like it would be front and center if it was. Yeah, okay, it's not this one. <laughs> the one I thought I picked up was aluminum free. Anyway, it's white peach, which I thought sounded nice. I'm not gonna spray it right now and I can't smell it, but I'm sure it's great. But that's all from Shoppers. And then last thing is some floss sticks because I have the regular floss, which I know is better, but these I find a lot easier and they make me floss more. So what do dentists want? Me to floss like barely ever with regular floss or a lot more regularly with these things that I'll at least be doing something. So got some of these. Um, we got, this is gonna, it's so minor, but it's really gonna up the game for me. I think I was saying it earlier, but my ice cube situation is just not great. So I got this, which is definitely not meant for ice cubes or going in the freezer, but like I'm sure it's fine. I'm gonna wash it and then hopefully it'll be fine to put in the freezer. I think it, I think it's okay. And then they only had a three pack of primary colors, unfortunately, but <laughs> I got a scoop that I'll use to scoop out the ice, which is amazing. Ideally, I'd like to just have like a clear one, maybe someday, but this was also on sale and this was really cheap. So this is what we're working with. I'm gonna do that with you guys tonight. Just put like some ice cubes in here and then refill the ice trays. Oh, she's gonna make my life so much better. It's one of those really marginally small things, but it will just like really up the game. And then I got a small drying rack. I'll keep this under the sink when I'm not using it because most of my stuff can go in the dishwasher, but some stuff like like how mug can't go in the dishwasher. And because I only have one of like pretty much everything right now, it's sometimes better to just like hand wash it so that I can use it later that day, you know, instead of keeping it in the dishwasher because I only run it like every second day right now. Um, Cause I'm only just one, one gal. I don't need to be running the dishwasher all the time. But so yeah, I just got one of these, had it before. Like it has the like draining rack as well. So I can just put it on the sink or the countertop when I'm using it and then put it under the sink when I'm not, which is really nice. And that's the haul today. Very exciting stuff. Mm -hmm.